the sixth eruption in the latest chain of eruptions on the Reiki Nez Peninsula and the second of 2024 has begun. It is another fissure eruption as the past two have been and, well, for the location, it's not looking good. Earthquake swarms started occurring around the Blue Lagoon area around 30 minutes before the eruption occurred. The eruption started around 6 a.m. local time. If you are traveling to Iceland or are in Iceland currently, no travel issues are expected as flights continue from the airport uninterrupted and the road north of the eruption between Keflavik and Reykjavik remains open. The road leading to the Blue Lagoon and to Grindavik is a different story. Looking at the map, the location is just east of the Blue Lagoon and geothermal power plant and is dangerously close to the Blue Lagoon. The eruption location is similar to the first of the last three eruptions that we saw in December 2023. As of now, the entire peninsula is without hot water and homes in Iceland are heated by hot water, so this is a big deal, especially with it being winter. Lava is currently pooling around the area east of the Blue Lagoon, and right now it is a race to hopefully do anything possible to divert the lava away from the geothermal power plant and the Blue Lagoon but it's not going to be easy. As you can see, there is so much magma that they are dealing with, and when it flows across roads, it just makes things impassable. We are hoping for the best for the town of Grindavik and hoping that the fissure does not expand in that direction. Currently, it looks like the eruption is cooling down from what it was initially, and that is the trend that we are seeing with the past few eruptions, is that they are very explosive and large at the beginning, but they cool down relatively quick. We are also hoping that the Blue Lagoon and Geothermal Power Plant are not damaged from this eruption. While this eruption does seem like it's calming down, this does seem like a reoccurring theme that we are seeing here on the Reiki Nez Peninsula as the magma chamber underneath this area continues to show a lot of activity. This magma chamber and these eruptions are something that we might need to get more accustomed to in the upcoming months. But all we can do for now is just wait and see what happens next.